All right, we're gonna show you how to brush your teeth with your brand new braces. So you're gonna start just like you always do when you're brushing your teeth. You're gonna make sure you get your gums under your brackets. Open nice and wide for me. Getting down here along the base of your teeth, behind your teeth, all around everywhere, okay? Now we're gonna do something a little different with our toothbrush. We're gonna angle it like so and get under all our brackets, going all the way back. Same with angling it this way and getting the top of our brackets going all the way back. Anywhere there's a bracket, you're gonna to wanna to brush this way. You're also gonna now take the other side of your toothbrush, which is like a little Christmas tree, and it's gonna help you get under the wire and the other sides of the bracket. So you're going to, just like I said before, get everywhere you have a bracket, you're gonna to wanna to do this. So you're also gonna gain an extra travel toothbrush that looks like another Christmas tree brush. So it's the same one that's on the other brush. It goes in between the wires. And so this is reusable. So you can wash it just like a normal toothbrush, put that cap back on. If you ever need any more of these, just let us know. So flossing's gonna be a little different now. So you're gonna get a pack of these flossers. So in this pack, it's gonna be, it looks like a big sewing needle. You're gonna tie a piece of floss to it, just any regular floss. These are also reusable, so you can clean them and use them until they're a little too damaged to actually use. You're gonna come into the mouth. You can either go this way or this way, whatever works best for you. You're gonna pull it through to get the floss behind the wire. And make sure you don't wanna pull out, right? We don't wanna hurt ourselves. We're just gonna go and we're gonna floss like we normally do on each side of the tooth, everywhere your teeth are touching. And you just pull it down and you pull it out like so. You just pull, 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 pull. So it's going to take you a little bit longer in the morning, especially while you're getting used to all these new techniques. Okay, so give yourself a little extra time. So another tool to help you floss. It looks just like our normal flossers that we get at the store, but the only difference is this part is a lot thinner. This will help you get under the wire. So this is going to be a little bit easier method, possibly, than the other one, but you're going to find whatever works best for you, and you'll do the same thing all along. This is the wax. This will help you in case your cheeks start to get irritated from your brackets or the wire possibly starting to poke you in the back. If you start to get irritation bumps on your cheeks, a good way to help them heal faster is warm salt water rinses. But if you need a break from the bracket, this is what you will do. You will open the wax. You're gonna take a little ball. Doesn't matter really the size, it's whatever works best for you. It doesn't have to be too big though. You're gonna to wanna to take it. You're gonna to wanna to roll the ball in your fingers, kind of get it a little malleable. Then let's say this bracket's the one that's irritating her lip. We're gonna make sure to dry it off with a tissue because it helps the wax stick better. If the bracket is wet, the wax won't stick. And then we're gonna just roll it on with their finger, kind of press it in, really give it a nice little squeeze, make sure it gets in there. So it's gonna look a little funny, but it's gonna give you a lot of relief. So you can also eat with it on because if you swallow it, it won't hurt you, it's just wax. A good recommendation too, is to put it on at night before you go to sleep, that way it gives your cheeks a nice long couple hours of pure rest with no irritation. So now we're gonna show you some examples of what good hygiene and bad hygiene looks like. This is an example of good hygiene. Gums are nice and healthy, there's no plaque buildup on the teeth or on the brackets. And so after they got their braces off, this is their beautiful smile. This is an example of poor brushing and poor oral hygiene. Gums are very inflamed and swollen. I'm sure very sensitive when touched. Brackets and teeth have lots of plaque buildup on and around them. And so this particular patient, after the braces are taken off, has now been left with permanent marks we call decalcification. This is from not brushing, leaving plaque and debris, and they also have cavities as well. These are marks that are gonna be very hard, if ever, to get rid of. If you're finding you're having difficulty with brushing and keeping your oral hygiene up, we also provide at cost this wonderful brushing kit. Preventing problems with your braces. Cause and effect of eating hard foods. So cause and effect of eating ice can cause broken brackets. Chewing on pencils and pens can bend wires and loosen brackets. Biting into really thick pieces of caramel can pull bands off and also brackets. You want to slice your apples up and your peaches, carrots in very small pieces so you avoid broken brackets. 
Sodas and sugary drinks can cause decalcification and cavities, so do not drink soda. And if you ever do have a soda, try to rinse with water or brush afterwards. Um, hard, crunchy nut bars can cause broken brackets. Popcorn can be really bad because it gets underneath the gum tissue and can cause gum infections, which could require a um, possible visit to the oral surgeon to have the kernel removed or a gum infection that your general dentist would have to take care of. Hard candies are also the same thing as eating ice. Picking at the braces is a no-no. Really crunchy chips like pita chips and really thick tortilla chips can break brackets. And we allow you to eat sugar-free gum, but not sugar gum. So stay away from Bubblicious and gums like that, and you, are, you can have Trident.